Rifts are tears in the veil to the underworld of Tartarus, Typhon's realm. Vaults of Tartarus challenge your wit, logic, and dexterity, and are also a place to combine your abilities and combat skills to solve puzzles and navigate your surroundings. Across dozens of vaults, you will face a huge variety of challenges, where you'll need to mix and match your weapons and skills to overcome them. Waiting at the end of each vault is a lightning bolt of Zeus. Using their legendary power, Phoenix can upgrade her stamina. Hidden chests lie in each vault. Uncover them to seal the rift. On the Golden Isle, Typhon's army lurks around every corner. And as we all know, where there are enemies, there's loot. Gliding with the wings of Daedalus is always a joy, but we need to keep an eye on how much stamina we're using. Since flying harpies can be a challenge to reach, we can use the Bracers of Heracles to pull ourselves toward them to start the fight. Oops, Phoenix needs to be careful with her stamina here. Potion will do the trick. And now on to the next one. Like the Cyclops, Minotaurs also love to use the environment to attack Phoenix. But with Heracles' bracers, we can grab them and throw them right back. He'll also try to hit you with those nasty horns or slash you with his claws. Perfect dodges will grant Phoenix some precious extra time. Ouch, the Minotaur's charge can hit pretty hard. Fortunately, Phoenix has some health potions. With a few more perfect dodges, Phoenix will land some quick attacks. But let's finish this fight with the help of our companion, Phosphorus, to dive bomb the Minotaur. Let's see what they were guarding. The Golden Isle is filled with epic scale puzzles inspired by Greek mythology. Each trial will require you to discover, understand, and then solve the challenge. These trials are found scattered across the entire world, just waiting to be found. When completed, you'll earn coins of Charon to be used in upgrading Phoenix's skills and abilities. Now that we've put our wits to the test, let's move on to the next part of our quest. The first step to relighting the forge is to destroy some of the corruption that Typhon has spread over the Golden Isle. With the corruption destroyed, we can use Heracles' strength to grab some coal and put it in the hearth to start the fire. This is just one of many ways to light the coal on fire. The hearth is now relit, but since a battle with the legendary automaton awaits us at the forge, let's head to our base of operations for some upgrades. This is the Hall of the Gods. It is where Phoenix will reunite the gods to defeat Typhon. All of Phoenix's progression and customization takes place in this central hub. At the River Styx Cistern, we'll spend Coins of Charon to upgrade Hephaestus' hammer ability. Perfect for the fight to come. On her journey to defeat Typhon, Phoenix will need all of the upgrades she can get.
With our new ability, restocked potions, and increased health and stamina, we're ready for this final fight. Built by Hephaestus, but corrupted by Typhon, this automaton can unleash lasers on Phoenix. To start things off right, let's use an attack potion to enhance Phoenix's weapons and abilities, preparing her for the rest of the fight. Athena's dash and Ares's wrath are all good choices here. The automaton's uppercut is quite deadly, but this combo will knock him right out. Let's finish him off with our newly acquired ability. And he's history. Power has been restored to the forge. Hephaestus' workshop is roaring back to life. Phoenix's job is done. That's why. It seems Typhon has other plans. We're seeing Typhon's rage, which means he sent a corrupted fallen hero to track Phoenix down. This walkthrough was just a preview of the amazing journey Phoenix will experience in Immortals Phoenix Rising. More trials, more larger than life monsters, and more adventures await you on the Golden Isle. Thank you for watching. See you December 3rd.